ich habe kein gutes Gefühl, wenn ich so viel Zeug krieg. Absolut kein gutes Gefühl. were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit? No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls. We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. Guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them. And with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers. And heal them in case they got injured. Oh. Autsch! Ich vermute mal, dass es vielleicht so geht. Nee. zum Heulen, Mann. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, verdammt. Ja, so schnell kann ich nicht. Das geht mir ein bisschen. Will nicht. Ich bin doch kein Mensch. Ich bin doch keine Maschine, Mann. So. Meine Güte. Oh. Ja. Klasse. Das hätten wir erledigt. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. Hmm, mal gucken. Well, look at what we have here. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first, but this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. 
Mhm. Das heißt... Aufmachen, ne? The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel so, with his name. Mal schon. Gucken wir mal, I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, Successfully Completed. Return date, fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomol had sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? Well, as far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck. There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation, which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot. Fox, a sarcophagus is something that confines radiation, preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. Hmm. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're in a transfer of prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's a literal way to say it. Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Hmm. Mal gucken, ob wir hier noch was finden. I finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? 
You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. How dare you! Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I'm, uh... <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Okay. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue. Manistas. Forschen entweder für das U-Boot oder jetzt für, für das Tor irgendwo, dass ich rauskomme. After putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh, well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. Oh. Das ist nicht die Stelle, wo wir hin wollen. Au, 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 das tat weh, das tat weh. Das tat definitiv weh. Ich 
verstehe ich nicht ganz. Oh, doch wieder zurück? Ich kann mir das fast schon nicht vorstellen. Aha. Jetzt kann ich es mir schon vorstellen. Das ist ja übel. Nein, ja, halt, warte. Dann gehen wir noch mal speichern, damit er das zumindest genommen hat. Nicht, dass wir jedes Mal... Thank <laughs> you. 